How is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Annoyity Technology. This is Milan over here and today we are again having the Eufy Floodlight Cam 2 Pro. As you guys know that we have already reviewed this camera on our channel but today we are actually going to compare this camera with one of the nice options available out there which is the Sentry Pro from the Netview. So we are going to dive into the specs of them, both of them and have a look at which camera gets suits perfect for your security and specific specific applications. So without any further ado, let's dive into the comparison. So talking about the Eufy Floodlight Cam 2 Pro, this is how it basically looks. And on the other hand, we are having the Netview Sentry Pro as you are able to see this how basically it looks. The design of both the cameras are different though both are in the white color, but there are massive difference in terms of the specifications. Talking first of all about the resolution, the Eufy gives us a recording option of up to 2k as well as 1080p full hd whereas the netview is basically a 3 megapixel hd camera you can record your footages you will get the footages in hd format so basically the eufy is having the 2k option which makes it more sharper more detailed in terms of the recording capability talking about the second thing the panning the eufy basically offers us a 360 degree of panning and tilting of 130 degrees which gives a nice field of View and it also offers us a 270 degrees of motion detection whereas on the other hand we are just getting 160 degrees of uh, field of view in terms of the net view Sentry Pro. Apart from this the Eufy also has some artificial intelligence inside it so basically it can easily lock and track if it detects some human or some faces out there so it can easily just rotate itself in that direction where the face has been detected whereas the net view is just like i mean it can do that panning and tilting stuff up to somewhat extent so basically the eufy is more advanced here in terms of the lock and tracking feature as well as in terms of the rotation it's kind of 360 upside down and right and left as well apart from this the plus point of the eufy we also get three super black LED panels which are like 3000 lumens in terms of its power so basically it makes it a pretty much bright light CCTV camera and not just this thing you can easily control its intensity as well as the color temperature with just the mobile application which is available on the Eufy Android and iOS and basically this temperature control can be done easily in between the 3500 Kelvin to the 5700 Kelvin whereas there is no other options like this kind of lightings in terms of the net view because even while talking about the night time while talking about the night mode feature that this both security cams actually offer the Eufy uh, light the super uh, bright LED lights get start automatically they are all it's already having an infrared sensor as well as well as a PIR sensor basically this uh, floodlight also gets automatically on whenever there is a motion detection even in terms of the light like if you are using this kind of a light in a garage or a uh, place where the cars and vehicles are it can easily detect if there is any motion in the night is going on Whereas the net view is just having the IR night vision which is just like a normal IR night vision and you can just see the black and white footage of the night and can have a look at what's going on around in the night basically. Talking about weight, definitely the Eufy is having the floodlight so it's a little bit heavier than net view but that's like add-on stuff which really helps a lot because the floodlight is really good if you plan to use it even for the outdoor purposes it is really helpful talking about the speakers yes both of them are having the speakers uh, in the eufy we can talk with the help of the application whereas the netview there is already a two-way hands-free audio so you just don't need to kind of touch the stuff you can just directly go on talking definitely you need again the app on the netview as well in order to do so apart from this we get an additional micro usb and sync button on the eufy side whereas we are just getting inside a box like a power adapter in the, in the net view and basically just that's it though the net view actually supports 128 gb of sd card we need to buy it separately apart from that the eufy don't supports any sd card any external sd card we only rely on either the cloud storage or on the internal 8 gb storage which is designed in such a way that after 
practically using both of these cameras, I observed that we are getting a pretty decent recording with the help of the 128 gigs micro SD card on the NetView, whereas we were getting a lot recording on 8 GB, only that 8 GB of internal storage. Apart from this, both of them provides us a very nice applications for the phone, for our smartphones, and whenever there is a motion detection, we get the app notification. I just found out that the app interface basically of the UFI is more customizable. It offers really nice features, more functionalities inside it. So I prefer that, I mean, UFI is kind of more eco-friendly to me but it totally depend on your choice because it's totally up to you that which camera you are getting and basically not just this thing like already mentioned we are getting nice cloud storage they're having several subscription both of them supports the google assistant as well as the alexa but one thing to mention that in the net we we are getting the latest h265 recording i don't know what's going on inside the eufy camera eufy flood light cam 2 pro but due to the practical observation of the actual recording that this security cam is actually doing in itself it seems out like this is more effective than that of the h265 i don't know how you feel processing that stuff in the inside internal circuit but basically i just found that in spite of being having the netview h265 the ufi was producing more sharper more 2k crystal clear images and instead of that we were getting more recording and less storage i would like to say apart from this the netview is kind of an outdoor camera totally outdoor one so definitely it's supports the ip66 whereas the ufi is more convenient you can use it either in the hall you can indoors or in companies or basically like even in the garages or the parking lots basically so it's pretty much i mean having a field of view which can detect a pretty long distance considering through the net views in terms of the ip rating there is no concern definitely after checking out the pricing of both of them there is a considerable difference because net view is just 65.99 dollars whereas the ufi is costing almost like 300 bucks out there it's 299 and 99 usds basically though we are paying this much price out there if we go for the ufi but in terms of my personal preference if i would like to say that for the security purpose i will go for the ufi for my personal use it might be different for you because the thing is that my workflow my space required this cam fit perfect in that it does offer for some artificial intelligence sensing stuff the app is more customizable the floodlight i could say is somewhat helpful especially if we don't have any light out there this is really helpful so basically ufi i will prefer for my personal option you can just have a look at both of them from links available in the description down below with this once again thank you so very much for checking out this video this is melon from anoily technology i will catch you guys in the next one for now Peace out.